Truth lives out here on on TikTok. Uh, I was really hoping uh, that Hunter Biden would sign that plea deal. Greetings, Italo. I was really hoping that he would sign that plea deal because my friends on the right who've been walking around here, you know, they say this zero convictions they say this right i i saw mitch mcconnell uh i did see that too and, and you know why mitch mcconnell froze like that you know why because he's afraid of guess who jack smith <laughs> who's he afraid of jack smith uh-oh yes 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 he's deranged yeah so so how many convictions do we have uh, for Hunter Biden now, MAGA, zero. It's like you keep getting it wrong. How many zero? MAGA has no credibility. Uh, he had a Biden moment. No, no, no. Mitch McConnell is a Republican, uh, Snuggles. Uh, own own your people, Snuggles. It's so, it's so sad. Uh, you hear MAGA right now. They say, Zeus, don't call me MAGA. I'm not a MAGA. Well, what are you? I'm a Republican. Yes, Biden is the boom. Yes. MAGA, MAGA has no accountability. MAGA has no credibility. MAGA, as far as I am concerned, really needs to sit their special behinds down and listen to this special broadcast. Zero credibility. I'm trying to be calm, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really trying to be calm. Uh, but I have to have the gloves off with MAGA because of where we are as a nation. Uh, unfortunately, you and I, we all know, we all know what MAGA has done. They've been a very abusive group of people in the United States, and they need to apologize to every single American uh, and starting today. Okay, and so the gloves are off. The gloves are off when it comes to MAGA. Everyone knows he's, and I wouldn't have said this three weeks ago. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have said it. I was actually very kind to him. I was. I was very kind to him, but now we can't be kind anymore because the gloves are off. The jar has been opened. 
He's taken millions of dollars from other countries like China. He's totally compromised. He's taken millions and millions of dollars from other countries. Right, right. We, and we know who's totally compromised. It's definitely MAGA. Uh, so there was a plea deal today between President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, and the Justice Department is on hold after a very, very dramatic day. Wasn't it dramatic? For those of you who have been following this, this was supposed to be the day you got a guilty, uh, the closest you can get to a, a guilty, right, a guilty plea. He was going to go in there, but... The judge decided today, you know what? I don't want to give Hunter Biden absolute immunity, all right? Even though he rightfully deserves it, even because everything they've accused Hunter Biden of, we all know Don Jr. and Ivanka are guilty of, right? <laughs> Slide your thing. I don't want the filter. What's that about? Oh, TikTok, cut it out. We all know Don Jr. I'm not a liar. No lies detected over here, ladies and gentlemen. I Listen, they call me Triple H for a reason. I am the most honest person on social media. There's nobody more honest than me. All right? Be honest. All right? The second H is because I'm the most humble person out here. Uh, if I get it wrong, I will be the first to apologize. Right? I just haven't gotten it wrong in a, in a long time. Uh, uh, you can say that's bull all you want. It doesn't change a thing. You know who's the real liar? MAGA. And the last H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am the most handsome. <laughs> MAGA, you haven't gotten a single thing right. And just because you put conservative in front of your name doesn't give you more credibility. It actually takes away your credibility. MAGA credibility is, if you ask me, in the crapper. In the toilet, if you ask me. <laughs> Okay, so Hunter Biden failed to pay some taxes, he, you know, gun charges, and, and this is what the folks in Congress waste taxpayers' money on? You want to drag him through the criminal justice system over that? He's a private citizen. What do you got on Hunter Biden? Absolutely nothing. So there's another conspiracy. Oh, they say, well, if we get the son, we'll get the daddy. Is this what is this what is this what MAGA believes? If we get Hunter Biden, <laughs> if we get Hunter Biden, we will get Joe Biden. And how's that working out for you? It's not working, right? Uh, there is a crooked family in politics. It's a crime family. It's a dangerous crime family. I agree. There is a crooked crime family in politics, and we all know who it is. It's the Trump crime family. Donald Trump right now is hovering at 71 felonies. Do you understand what 71 felonies is, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, newsflash. Let's start, let's start with Alvin Bragg. I know I'm supposed to be talking about Hunter Biden, but I want to talk about Donald Trump and his felonies for a second. Can I talk about them? Thank you, everyone. All right, listen. Uh, we all know Donald Trump has been indicted not once, but twice. <laughs> a multitude of white collar crimes all right and listen uh i want to talk about what happened in new york because a lot of people still seem to be confused under new york law under new york state law it is a felony listen to what i'm saying it is a felony to falsify business records with intent to defraud and intent to conceal another crime <laughs> What has he got to hide? Why is he paying hush money and, and doing it by committing crimes to do? What has Trump got to hide, MAGA, right? Uh, and, and, and this is why Alvin Bragg is doing the wonderful work. He's, I'm not covering for the Bidens. You, you got me sadly mistaken. <laughs> uh, whoever thinks I'm covering for the Bidens, you got The only thing I'm covering that President Biden did are these, uh, let me count them out. One, add the two, carry the six. 30, 30, a list of 30 accomplishments that President Biden uh, has has accomplished in his first term. And uh, I will be covering that extensively. All right. Uh, but those 34 false statements that Trump made to cover up other crimes. Isn't that a shame?
nothing bothers me more than to know that this guy was the president of the United States. He took money from Saudi Arabia. He took money from China. He took money from Russia. He lied on his taxes. He falsified business records. He ripped off the American Secret Service. And he did this all in his first term. And on his way out, he led an insurrection. <laughs> Nothing irritates me more than that, okay? And then they say these same people who whose leader did all of that, they get out here and try to try to drag innocent Hunter Biden through the DOJ. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourselves, MAGA. Have I lied on my taxes? No, I have not. Have you lied on your taxes? I'm not triggered. No, 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 no. You see, <laughs> okay, I'm not triggered at all. That's I, I'm here doing the Lord's work with my hammer of truth. Once again, uh, making sure that I get the truth out here to the rest of America, because if I left it up to MAGA, we would be in a nasty place in this country. You know, this country is going down in degradation. It really is. And it's really because MAGA was driving this country for four years with their leader, Donald J. Trump, who's probably no, who is the most corrupt politician in American history. <laughs> All right. I, I, and, you know, uh, Donald Trump, you know, he's so corrupt, right? You know why he's corrupt? Because he knows what we all know, right? Which is he doesn't know what he's doing. And we know that he's been doing a lot of nasty, dirty, corrupt things. And he's only running for president to try to escape jail. <laughs> There's a joke going around. I haven't told it in a while, but there's a joke going around. Snuggles, tell them. I hear if you go in the bathroom and you turn down the lights and you and, and, and you uh, you go into the mirror and you go in and you go. Jack Smith. And then you spin around and then you go. Jack Smith. I hear if you do it a third time, the FBI will show up, right? <laughs> <laughs> And the FBI is on their way to indicting Donald Trump uh, because Donald Trump is is a criminal. All right. How dare he have those classified documents out there in Mar-a-Lago? Right. Think about that. He was talking about national security information with his staff telling jokes. Right. We heard the audio tape. And then when we heard it, how did he end the audio tape? He said, can someone bring in some cokes? I wish I would have been in that room with Donald Trump when he ordered those Cokes because I would have brought him not only some Cokes, but I would have brought him some handcuffs, right? <laughs> RC Dubs, welcome. How many of you out there think Donald Trump should be in handcuffs? Raise your hand, all right? How many of you out there think Donald Trump should be uh, in handcuffs? All right, I'm just asking for a friend, all right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. All right, I see it, I see it. You know what, all of you who got that answer right, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Mega, Mega, sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast because over here, there's only truth coming out, all right? Uh, now, you don't have to stay in this live if you don't like to stay here, all right? You know what I say, and I'm gonna say it again. Uh, listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, MAGA, with all of this truth, go ahead and exit stage left. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, right. if you hate our country. They do. If you're not happy here, you can leave. MAGA. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, mm -hmm. very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Right. Leave. Come back if you want. Don't come back. Right. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. And, and, and don't try to come in through the border because, you know, your friend uh, Greg Abbott, he has something in the water for you. So you, you won't be able to come in through the Rio Grande anymore, okay? Uh, and what I will do, though, is uh, I'm willing to help you get to Russia. How many of you Magadonians would like to go to go to Russia? Any MAGA want to go to Russia? I hear you. I hear Putin needs needs more men to help fight his war. How many MAGA want to go to Russia? 
Ah, oh, I'm see, I'm looking out there. Any MAGA want to go to Russia? I don't see it. Mm, no, <laughs> I want to go to Russia. All talk, right? All right. What about uh, China? Anybody from MAGA want to go to China and eat chocolate cake with President Xi? <laughs> <laughs> Yet, maybe you can go to North Korea. <laughs> only, thing, only, thing, only thing I want to hear from, I'm going to open up the boxes because many of you, you know what I do over here in the closet of truth. I don't just bring the truth. I actually sit down and I have real candid conversations with MAGA and help them understand where they went wrong. That's why they call me the MAGA whisperer, right? All right. So I'm qualified to do this work. All for all the all the insults that MAGA, you know, they hurl out these insults. You know what I do when I see that? I say 81% say you can leave. I agree. It's the MAGA demon. All right. There's a MAGA demon that's bogged this nation down and it needs to be cast out with those demons that Jesus cast out when they, you know, he sent them into the pig and then the pigs went over the cliff. We need to cast the MAGA demon out of the United States of America. How many of you agree? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. MAGA, you've done a lot of harm to this country. Uh, we all know that you suffer from blame, been lying and making excuses and denial. Don't even notice I am lying. Very abusive, MAGA. And a lot of us are fed up. There's not going to be another red wave. There's not going to be four more years of Trump. Whenever I see Trump 2024, all I think of is Trump 20 to 24 years in prison. Because <laughs> they know he's going to jail. They know he's going to jail. They know he had those classified documents and he shouldn't have had them. We saw him on camera doing it. him and his aide, Walt, Walt Nauta, Okay, how do you have a co-defendant on classified documents? You got to understand how you have to be the, the most ridiculous, foolish criminal on the world in the world to have a co-defendant with classified documents. You can't make this stuff up. And every day he gets on his platform, Truth Social, and goes off on President Biden and his son, Hunter Biden, as if. He is somehow the most innocent person on the planet. Donald Trump is the most corrupt politician we have ever witnessed in our lifetime. He is. Name one good thing Trump has done for the United States of America. Asking for a friend. Hello, Angela. Nice to see you. Yeah, we're back in here. The gloves, the gloves are off. You know, I wasn't always this way with MAGA, but the gloves are off. The jar is open now. All right. All right, because see, uh, they've, they've done a lot of harm and a, and a lot of nasty things. They went after Hunter Biden. They actually, you know what, I'm getting, I'm getting a little frustrated. Because every time I think about what Marjorie Taylor Greene did to Hunter Biden in Congress, in front of the American people, that's that moment right there, I said all the credibility, the little credibility MAGA had, went straight down the toilet, okay? It's almost as if Marjorie Taylor Greene, Marjorie Taylor Greene is acting like she's some sort of ex, right? She's acting like she's Hunter Biden's ex and she just can't get over how things ended, right? I've never seen somebody go to so many extremes to try to make somebody else look bad, but at the end of the day, only ends up making themselves look bad. Look bad. Marjorie Taylor Greene. If you ask me, you know, and I'm go I gotta be honest. I, I promise to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. She she looks and sounds desperate, right? And I would actually say, Mar. You know what? Yeah, Marjorie Taylor Greene looks and sounds desperate, and I would argue that's probably the face of MAGA right now, huh? <laughs> desperate right now because they know Biden's going to win again. They know Hunter Biden didn't do anything serious. Uh, okay. They know their leader is on his way to getting convicted probably well over a hundred times. I mean, he's going to have at least 200 plus felonies when this is all said and done. Between Jack Smith and Fonnie Willis 
Alvin Bag, Letitia James. Come on, folks. I mean, whoo! There's no way that these folks out here can still be out here thinking it's all going to be a, a cakewalk into the White House. It's not going to be a cakewalk into the White House, MAGA, and you know it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I only came on, uh, I only got a little bit of time, okay, to, to talk today, but I, I got on because I wanted to let MAGA know Hunter Biden has zero convictions still. He didn't even plead to it. You would have thought Hunter Biden would have taken the fifth, right? You thought he would have pled the fifth. He didn't even plead the fifth. Not guilty. That's what Hunter Biden said. I'm not guilty. If you're not going to, I want a deal. If you're not going to give me a deal, I'm not taking it. All right, but we know Hunter Biden. We know one thing. Uh, we know one thing, though, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <clears throat> we know their uh, the MAGA leader Donald J. Trump is on his way to jail. All right, and, and, and it's just a matter of time. We're all on indictment watch, right? Uh, and, and we know that any day now, Jack Smith <laughs> will be. <laughs> Dropping another hit record called the second indictment, right? Jack Smith. He's a Trump hater. His wife's a Trump hater. His family's a Trump hater. They all hate Trump. They, do. they hate him with a passion. They'll do anything they can to hurt Trump. But he's a harasser and an abuser. You want me to play it, Angela? Okay, all right. I'm going to open up the boxes, but before I do, I'm going to have to play our special Jack Smith song. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. This one is for for you oldies out there. You know who I'm talking about. Jack Smith. He's a Trump hater. His wife's a Trump hater. His family is a Trump hater. They all have Trump. He's a And he's a big Trump hater. Openly, he's a Trump hater. And his wife is even more of a Trump hater. Donald Trump is indicted and they take one charge and they turn it into 36 charges. <laughs> Jack Smith. He's a Trump hater. His wife's a Trump hater. His family's a Trump hater. They all Get him, Jack! And he's a Jack Smith. 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 He's even more of a Trump hater. Ah, I, get I can't get enough of Every it. Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a great badge of courage. And it is. <laughs> and, and we're going to hand out these badges of courage to his corrupt behind. Listen up, MAGA. The only people I want to hear from today, uh, ladies and gentlemen, are... For all of the harm they've done in this country. Good morning, uh, or good afternoon, Brother Greg. How are you? Yes, good Good afternoon, my friend. How are we doing today? Oh, I'm, I'm all right. Uh, just celebrating the fact that Hunter Biden uh, didn't plead today, all right? He said, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, right. a, it's a beautiful thing to have a equal, equal uh, justice, you know, because I thought it was a one-tier... Uh, you know, justice system, not a not a two tier justice system. But, you know, we're here and, uh, you know, it's beautiful to know that justice is prevailing. Yeah. Uh, and and the the Magadonians are going to rejoice and be very happy about justice. Uh, and I hope that they are also happy that justice is prevailing. Uh, what happened? So that is important. Hmm. Go for it. I apologize. I'm, I'm stepping back into the car, so oh. I'm switching over my microphone. But what I wanted to say earlier on your live and what I said in Attacking's live today was Talk that, to um, you know, Rudy Giuliani, and, and, you, and you may have said this in your live earlier, but Rudy Giuliani essentially today admitted that everything was a, a joke. Right. When it came to his Georgia claims, right. um, everything that he was saying was not actually true, and he had to come out today and say that. Now, is that part of is that part of the investigation itself? And maybe you know, there's some sort of a deal that he took there. Mm. Um, 
interesting. We'll have to we'll have to wait that mm. out to see what happens there. Yeah. But um, I just think that that's very uh, yeah. ironic that that happened. Yeah. And the other thing that happened today was that our our, our favorite. Our favorite paralegals on this app, they have said many times that a 1023 is a valid source of information. Well, wow. Steve Ducey today, wow. he threw that entire thing up into smoke yeah. because he said that if Republicans are going off of this alone, it's not enough as in terms of evidence because anybody can do it. He himself said, it was unverified. He that, himself, not me, not you, Zeus. It, came it was Stephen Ducey. Julie, and what a doozy for Greg. The FD1023 form, it was written by Rudy Kaludi Giuliani. And if that's what they're basing all of this on, this is very sad. What a shame. Oh! Mega. They should be ashamed. What a disaster. They should be ashamed of themselves. What a horrible disaster it is. And yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I just really hope that, um, you know, eventually some of these folks on this app come clean and admit that they were lying at the behest of uh, Mr. Giuliani for the past uh, two and a half years because he has now finally said this. So mm -hmm. I think it's time for them to come clean. Yeah. MAGA, MAGA, are finally you admit that clean? Any MAGA out incorrect. there want to come clean and apologize to America today? Any MAGA out there want to apologize? You heard it yeah, right here. ZPAC. For real. I mean, let's, let's just... Tell them. That's what I want. I want those MAGA apologies. Yeah, I mean, it's... Just... in the box today, right here, right now. Yeah, I, I mean, this is, this is uh, you know, and, and the other thing that I've been hearing a lot on this app has been that, uh, you know, why are you guys not paying attention to the congressional hearings from the Republicans mm. with, with Joe Biden right. and Hunter Biden and all that good stuff? Right. So, so here's why, and this is a big difference. This is a big difference. So Go ahead, tell them, in the January 6th hearings... Oh, in the January 6th hearings, not only did did uh, Jack's or not Jack Smith, I'm, I'm mixing everything up right now. There's so much going on. It's so but, much. But man. so basically what happened was, do yeah, Donald Donald Trump's own people were testifying against Donald Trump. <laughs> so when you have your own people testifying against Donald Trump, that's a lot different than James Comer and all the Republicans in Congress coming up with a scheme that says, oh, well, you know, we, we, we have some people that have said some things and we're here to tell you about it, but we don't have the people who said those things. And we keep saying that we're going to bring them here, but it's just another day in the kingdom, as Zeus would say. Yeah. It's another day in the kingdom. And, and so uh, that's why we don't care, because this is like this is like a a a true witch hunt everything that the republicans said was a witch hunt right this is actually a witch hunt and that impeachment would actually be a sham you're saying you're saying that the republicans are actually in charge of a witch hunt oh yeah i mean wow. it takes one to know one but you know wow. the, the, the reality is the reality is I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm done. Zero credibility yeah, I mean, for MAGA. Wow. They don't have any. They don't have any. And they continue to push narratives that they have the goods on Joe Biden, but they've been yet to connect Joe Biden to any payments. Hmm. And let's be clear. They have yet to connect him to any payments. We have, we have actual documentation in the indictment that shows information that Donald Trump's own attorneys were lying at the behest of Donald Trump, that Donald Trump had them push boxes into a court, into a closet and hide surveillance tapes. I we have that facts. in the indictment. Facts. So, um, this is true. So you here's the on. thing. And, and to all, and to all the, yeah, all the Magadonians in the comments right now talking about the big guy and connecting, I'm sorry oh, that you've been misguided and misinformed guy. on these issues.
the big guy really they yes. still talking about that um, but but understand understand this the republican platform has no policy None. they don't have any uh actual plans None. for 2024 their only their only plan is to get revenge on donald trump or on uh joe biden and the in the democrats because they treated uh donald trump very unfairly in their in their view Hmm. And so and and so what what they're doing is they're talking about uh, Hunter Biden and they're hmm. talking about um, all these off the they're talking about all these off the Hunter post- Biden and, and right. Right. So so what they what they have to do, what they have to do is they have to understand they can continue to do this because MAGA has lost uh, three straight elections. They lost in 2018. <laughs> They lost in 2020, and they lost in 2022. If you would like to lose a fourth election, by all means, go ahead and nominate Donald Trump again. Because what, what you fail to understand is that Donald Trump does not connect yeah, yeah, yeah. with the American Trump, people. Please, please, we can't wait to beat him again. Oh, please, man, yeah. do it. Do it, all right? Thank you, Greg. Listen. Yeah. Now give, we have give, to make give, Joey, to give Joey B the opportunity. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, brother Greg. Some oh, of they want to join wanna... me. No, no, no. They're going to come oh, up here, okay. but you know we're going to have to rotate these boxes and keep it moving. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. But I'm glad gotcha. that you were able to come in all and right. off all of that truth. All right. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, Perfect. Ladies... Thank you, Zeus. All right. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give brother Greg a, a round of applause. <laughs> No lies detected. This is what this is about, ladies and gentlemen. Getting the truth out here, all right? MAGA, let me let me be clear. You've lost all credibility. You've got nothing wrong. You've got nothing right, okay? You got the 2020 election, you got that wrong. You got January 6th, you got that wrong. As a matter of fact, thousands of you ended up in jail, all right? You don't know who's in charge of the National Guard. <laughs> your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast you got the midterms wrong you said there was going to be a red wave uh hello has anybody seen a red wave i sure haven't seen one (laughs) what else did they get wrong oh they told me this they said zeus do you really think that they would indict Donald Trump? Yes, I do think they will indict him because he's a criminal. No, he won't. No, they won't. Well, guess what? Uh, look at him now. Well, Zeus, uh, they're not going to get any convictions. Oh, they're going to get the convictions too. And even if they try to appeal it, they're going to lose. Look at what happened with E. Jean Carroll. All right. He is now on paper a certified rapist. Donald Trump is a certified and these same folks get out here they call themselves Christians. You should see these folks. They go to church with their Bible, they wear their best Sunday clothes, and they and they listen to their pastors. And they go and they say, Well, my pastor told me to vote for Donald Trump. And I'm going, Well, clearly your pastor isn't really a pastor. He is an agent of darkness, not an agent of light. There's nowhere in Bible, there's no Bible scripture you can ever point me to. And listen, I've asked them. I said, actually, I read the Bible with some of these folks. They fumble through the scriptures. I mean, this is some of the most petty. This is the most silliest stuff I've seen on TikTok. Folks calling themselves a Christian, but fail to understand and comprehend scripture. So no, MAGA has zero credibility with me. Absolutely none. And again, I wasn't always this way, but the gloves are off, ladies and gentlemen. And why are the gloves off? Because MAGA did this to the United States. Everyone knows he's, and I wouldn't have said this I wouldn't have. three weeks ago. Nope. I wouldn't have said it. I was actually very kind to him. I was very kind no. to him, but now we can't be kind anymore because the, the gloves, gloves are, are off. The jar has been opened. The jar has been opened. Isn't that right, Angela? Good greetings, brother DJ. How are you? I have a bone to pick with you, sir. Oh, well, listen, this is a good time to pick that bone. We are let, with well, let, me, let me see if I can cover this in my three minutes since I'm going to go back in history. First, you said credibility. Yes. 
there's a lot there that you're right. There is credibility. And you said midterms mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. now, and you said MAGA. Now let, let me give you a definition of MAGA. Oh man. Another goofy ass. So I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to backtrack and there's some credibility there. I see that every day, man, <laughs> another goofy ass. I saw one comment. I don't want to do any pillow talk, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snuggle no close talk. to the one you love. Mm -hmm. yes. Right, and right. Since you said midterms, I thought we were talking about high school because I took oh, midterms. Oh. <laughs> and my favorite class in high school oh, was lunch and gym time and gym class. So maybe I missed that midterm memo. <laughs> You said your favorite class in school was lunch and midterm. Oh my gym, god! No, lunch and gym class. Lunch and gym. I'm so sorry. Listen, uh, listen. Uh, I know you got in trouble a lot because uh, uh, <laughs> that was unacceptable where I come from. I look. I it pays to stay in school, mm. <laughs> but I, I had to say that because you would not comment on that about three weeks ago. I'm like, but gym and lunch class time was my favorite. <laughs> but anyway, on a serious note. Uh, I, I want to try to stay on topic. It's not about me. It's about the. <laughs> well, no, I mean, we're just having, you know, I call American conversations, real American conversations, real honest conversations. All right. I only have one. I have one thing. I mean, one thing that I would say. What's so that? I try to stay in tune with a lot of different news sources. Okay. I think I saw a poll that said who has the most corrupt. Um, what is the most corrupt? group in the united states let's look politically right democrat right, right, right. republican liberal we already know who it is it's the it's the the, the party of maga yeah and 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 honestly you notice when people come up they're going to say oh you're asked what is your political affiliation i'm not a, i'm a libertarian what that <laughs> means is that they were embarrassed and to admit that they voted for this clown wow you hear that and the clown car is outside. I'm I'm sure they're just trying to figure out who has the keys, right? Mm -hmm. One we got the clown valets and they're <laughs> hiding the keys. <laughs> why? You know, why? Why do you think they're ashamed to admit they voted for for Donald Trump? Why do you think because that? Is? They've been bamboozled. They've been hoodwinked. Mm -hmm. They had the wool pulled over their eyes. Mm -hmm. They've been watching too much Lindell, mm -hmm. getting on their knee and praying to that pillow. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Should I go on? <laughs> oh, oh, you're doing just fine. No lies detected. No right? lies detected. No. Exactly. You know but I mean? you know what? You get the gist of where I'm going from. You know, I like to bring humor into some seriousness. I, yeah, I, I start I off that it. way. Yeah. And I normally don't get in political lives because they frustrate me. Oh, but don't I, let it frustrate you. You yeah, do it. But I had to come up, show my handsome face since we. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, listen. But, to me, uh, hey. Uh, wait, I want to hear the thunder strike for my handsome face. Oh, no. hold on, hold on. We I are in agreement. Lie, no lies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm Look the out. second most handsome man in the room. There we go. How about okay. that? Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, your Se and, and second is a long distance away. All right. I'm just yes, putting it out yes. there. My friend, right. my friend, hey, I appreciate you letting me up. <laughs> yeah, you come to my lives, I come to yours. I'm watching. I got All my right. eye on you, Zeus. All right. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Keep it up. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that, Brother DJ. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Brother DJ a round of applause. <laughs> no lies. Detected. All right. You see how you see, ladies and gentlemen, it's not that difficult to be honest. All right. I want MAGA to really just sit down. Don't say nothing. Zip it. All right. Zip it. <laughs> Just open your mind, open your ears, and meditate on the words that we are saying, all right? There is a way that you can come out of that fog, but you have to do the work, all right? And you've been, you've been, listen, you've been sold a bad bill of goods. I know Donald Trump tickles your fancy, he makes you laugh, but if you really sit down and think about it, he's not helping you be a better human being at all. Greetings, nice lady. Nice to see you. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. Trump for treason. Trump for treason. All right. Uh, let me get let me get to this.
uh, gentlemen, buckle up. We all know who he is. Hello, Snuggles. Mr. Crossing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What do you got? What do you got? Um, you know, um, DJ is now the third handsome. I'm, I'm, I'm the first handsome guy in this room, so we have to move him down a little bit. So just first so of you all, know. you start off with the lie, but go on. Where's my yeah. thunder? You gave DJ thunder. I deserve a little thunder. Yeah, you deserve a, a little thunder. thunder. That was a lie. Next, <laughs> what else do you got? Any truth today? Um, Mr. Mr. Crossings, I just want to figure out there has been no convictions, truly. None yeah, for either side. Correct. There's no conviction. Neither side. Biden. The, the no only convicted. For President Biden. There's no convictions for DJ, Obama. It's okay. There's no um, convictions for Hillary Clinton. So what's your point? Right. No convictions for anybody. So why are you guys all talking all the time? You've been talking for two years. Okay. Can I ask you one question? If what's the delay? Can I ask you one question? How yeah, many, go ahead. How many felonies has Trump been charged with? That doesn't count until he goes through. <laughs> 71 71 but you know it, hey can you can i ask you a question I, he has 71 it just take right there wait he has 71 can i ask you a question yeah that's what this is this is the closet yeah if you if you add it up let's say you added up president biden's felony convictions it would be well past trump's how felonies because it's all similar because you ignore it's ignorance is bliss I mean, and you guys it? ignore what president biden has been through you're oh, ignoring it and that's what that's what's more scary to this uh, world let me let me ask Seriously. you this, snuggles uh let me ask yes. you this. Uh, thank you for you the know, gifts you know uh you, are you familiar with some of biden's accomplishments um can i read you some of trump's I didn't ask you to do that. Listen, I'm asking you, are you familiar with some? I do that? not want to listen to any of, of Biden's uh, accomplishments because that see, only ruins. See, that's that MAGA demon talking right there, Snuggles. Cut it well, out. Well, because. The, so you don't, yeah. you don't want to talk about his historic appointment of a Supreme Court judge? If uh, it makes you happy, if it makes you happy, go ahead. Okay, all right. So now, cause these are all the things that it's building up to a recession. Go ahead and read off. Uh, help bring gas prices down more than a dollar okay. sixty from their summer peak Ooh. in twenty twenty two, right? Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> what about this? One point two trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure package that was that's oh. bipartisan. That means that's Democrats and Republicans that supported this. Um, yeah. What mm. do you think about that? Uh, ended the longest war in American history by getting the troops out of Afghanistan. I mean, what do you think about this? Getting the vaccine, um, 79% this, of adults are vaccinated? When you say that's I, quite impressive? I mean, Mr. Mr. Crossings, all this stuff that you're pointing out. No, 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 the, that, those are, those are, that's not stuff. Those are facts. Well, all those facts that you did point out. Well, today, the Fed, the Fed hikes interest rates went up by a quarter point, which is going to lead us into a recession, Mr. Crossings. So any of that stuff that he did puts us in the ground. So thank you for uh, sh go ahead. Keep, keep going. I'd like to okay, hear it. Okay. Go ahead down the list. Historically low unemployment rates. Right. After the pandemic caused them Ooh. to skyrocket. Three point five percent. Can you say three point five percent? Oh, my numbers? gosh. Yeah. Is, uh, it, is that the, uh, is that the interest rates? Um, low for Hispanics, <laughs> African-Americans and folks. We are, didn't you did you just hear me in 22 years, 22 years? Uh, the Fed hikes interest rates are the highest that it's ever been due to his proposals, due to Biden's proposals. From, uh, actually, CNN, did you want me to show you? <laughs> yeah. I'll show you. I'll flip yeah, the please. camera. Look, no, no, no. Pull, just tell me you got it on CNN. You got it? Pull it up. I got it right now. CNN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see what you got. Okay. All right. Let me turn the camera on, um, of course. All right. And then in the meantime, I'm going to keep going. Hi. Uh, what else? Hello. We strengthen the NATO alliance, Snuggle. Oh, Lord, please, Snuggle. Take Turn a look. off your camera. Take a look at this. Uh, CNN Business. Here we go. CNN Business, okay? Yeah. CNN, so, CNN. So, so, so you use CNN now all of a so sudden. Look at look, no, no, I want, I want you because you always get mad if it was a Fox briefing. The Fed hikes interest rates by a quarter point and hits at another increase this year. Yeah, yeah. So, so get all right. back to the part where you said... The uh, Federal Reserve like raised its benchmark lending rate by a quarter point Wednesday, lifting interest rates to their highest level in 22 years. 22 hmm. years. So your little list 
has uh, has raised all his stuff that he did has raised the federal hikes and we're going to go into a recession well, so mr you know about that, please you know. list it off what he did to make our our fed snuggles, rates higher snuggles, what, snuggles. what? Uh, just tell me the truth let me double check that because sometimes you have this thing you like to do uh right. and, and, you, and it's called uh reading and making stuff up so no that's not that that's not making it. stuff up you can look that up right now it was it was an hour ago yeah this was even this was reported and one hour ago from your neighborhood hold on, hold on, hold california on. i did see the interest rates went up but i just didn't quite catch that last part that you said hold on one second hold on it's okay second. i understand even even rc dubs is confused i mean because Finally, the Bidens no, no, um, no, are no, showing no, you no, what they're no, doing no, no, with no, the economy. No, no. With Donald Trump and his economy, we had an excellent economy. See what he did? He took Obama's so-called economy and Trump's economy mm -hmm. and destroyed it in the first day of his uh, presidency. Wow. Yeah, is that, is that what you think? Oh, no, that's what I know. I mean, look at the Fed hikes interest rates are up. We're going into a recession, people. I do. Just okay. let, hey, just because okay. the gas okay. prices are going down doesn't mean bold. Hold on, hold on. It says the Fed hikes interest rates by a quarter point and hints at another increase this year. Let's go through huh? this. Okay. Uh, lifting interest rates to their highest level in 22 years. Wow, this is true. It's the 11th rate increase since the Fed began inflation. Uh, it's, 22 it's, it's, years. Listen, listen, it's inflation fight in March 2022. And it comes just one month after the central bank hit pause in order to assess the state of the economy after failures. Just, of, they had to take second, a pause. Listen, I'm getting to it. After failures of three <laughs> regional banks. Oh, so okay. Snuggles, snuggles. There's a lot more going on. So here. is that Trump's fault? Huh? <laughs> is that Trump's fault? He's no. not the president. Well, I'll say this. I'll say this. Mm -hmm. I'll say this. Mm -hmm. You and I both know why inflation <laughs> happened, right? Uh, you know what, Mr. Mr. Crossing, and, 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 um, and it has I'm a lot winning. To do with the economy, and we know who who shut down the economy, right? Um, you know what, Mr. Crossings, I'm winning. Period. Okay. That's the facts. Okay. All right. We wouldn't have went. Hey, Trump wouldn't have went. Had Ukraine and Russia war. Okay, he wouldn't have. He said it many, many times, and he didn't have it during his presidency. So, mm. Mr. Crossings, Biden yeah. screw this up because he still want to do business with his son Isn't in Burisma. True? You Isn't know what I'm saying? True? You know what I'm saying? Well, well, I didn't say so. Let me, let me tell you about what Biden did since you brought up that interest rate. Yes, maybe maybe this will help you out, all right? right so right. Uh, things Biden has done to help tackle this this interest rate thing that you are talking about. Let's see. Tackle it. Uh, he, no, so, he raised it. What are you talking about? So, so, so we have we have provided college debt relief to the college students, right? And we yep. know where that's going, right? That's uh, probably why it went up a quarter point. Bad interest rates. Uh, negotiating uh, right. prescription drug prices. Because uh, everybody in the comment section has to pay those student loans. And, and listen, Go and ahead. that's also part of the Inflation Reduction Act, right? Right. Inflation reduction, Created raising the Federal Reserve. In one year, 11 million jobs in one year. That's more right. than any other president in United States history. Right. Um, Mr. Crossing, snuggles. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, your best thing is this interest rate. Thing. Mr. Crossings, you, really you are you, nope. Mr. Crossings, you healthcare. are the HHD, uh, Listen. handsome, humble, and dishonest. I'm just telling you, brother. Reduced health care premiums under the Affordable <laughs> Care Act. Oh my god, that's $800 hmm. Americans are saving. Anyway, Mr. Crossings, year. that has done what, what has that done for you or, or me? Nothing. Uh, what else? Let me see. Oh, appointed. Um, the first what has it done? Woman vice president. Can you believe it? Donald oh gosh, Trump can you believe? Uh, you don't. You want me to get Donald? Hey, Donald Trump hired a diverse amount of people in his circle. So just I don't buy that. Dollar investment in climate change. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Who's with 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 whose money? I mean, every time I turn around, Biden's doing something to help benefit. Every time America you turn around, you see him using our money and raising our taxes. Cut, I mean, listen, it's wonderful. And now the Fed through the American Rescue Plan. I and mean, now, wow, now the federal lending rates. I gotta bring up somebody. Else. Understandable. Uh, the wind is for me, Mr. Crossings and Democrats. Get those knee pads ready. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, get them ready. <laughs>
Ah! All right, Snuggles, that's enough. I'm surprised you made it that long, but he was right. Listen, I'm not I'm not going to admit that he had it wrong about the, the inflation rate. That's something out here that we just got to deal with. We got to roll with the punches, folks, all right? All right, let's bring up our next guest. Oh, my God, the beautiful Shay. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Yes, good. How are you doing, Shay? Oh, I'm good. That was painful. Why? Why? Why do you do this to us? <laughs> I know, right? You know, it's yeah. part of it's part of it's part of my job as the uh MAGA whisperer, all right? Uh but he did get it right about the 22%. I read it, I fact checked it. And you know, but as far as I'm concerned, it's not really uh the end all for President Biden, right? No, it's not. And, no. And things have gotten a lot better and there's no recession in sight the economist has said that we we are we are doing a much more softer landing than they they predicted that we would do and the thing is is that when we look at everything and i you know i was disappointed i was talking to my husband about it he's an economist talk to um, him talk to us well and so i was asking him that and i said okay so now that the inflation is you know down and it'll keep dropping what shouldn't we start to see reduction in prices of goods? And he said, no. Oh. And I was like, well, why? He goes, well, I mean, because if we start lowering the, the prices of goods, like we used to, you know, to get it back to pre pandemic levels, that's actually going to cause what's called deflation. Mm. Don't want. And he said the thing that, that is, you know, it's been very painful because Normally, every year, the price of goods raises about, on average, of 2% per year. So if you notice the price of goods when I was a kid versus right. five years ago, and that's about right. That's that's normal, right? Right. But obviously, in 2020 or 2021, it, it, it bumped take the economy. Up, right. It bumped up 10%. So it, it, it was a huge jump in prices of goods. <laughs> but when people have to think about what caused all of this it was a worldwide pandemic period the amount of money that both administrations had to spend trillions of dollars both trump and biden to get you know save people's businesses and mm -hmm. all of the stuff that we had to do and that that's what's that's what's caused it but in the end of the day there's been a ton of recovery in the economy Mm. And hopefully we'll start to see interest rates even come down because, you know, they raise them in order to get the inflation lowered, right. slow spending. Everybody was spending way too much money because we had a lot of money in the market. And so that's what happened. And, and that's what we've got to do. But I'm, I'm grateful that, you know, he a lot of the stuff that he's put in place has helped that. So can I ask you a question? Uh, you yeah. know, what are Republicans doing about this interest rate and this uh, inflation? Do you have you heard of any significant no. legislation? No, I heard they were investigating aliens today. Wow. Not yeah. this, this is the problem yeah, right here. So this is why when they try to point these things out and they don't Zeus. The interest rate, we found something. I'm going, no, you didn't. <laughs> you haven't found a thing. You're still chasing your tail. They haven't found anything. They I, didn't I vote. checked in the internet. I'm going, what are the Republicans yeah. doing about it? Nothing. Nothing. They haven't paced, passed a bill. They've been in office for eight months. They've had control of the House. And they have spent their entire time investigating someone that's not running for office or in office. Wow. Alien. <laughs> They are, listen, don't they I mean, have something else to do with their time? I, you know, I, obviously not. I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene got on the House floor and was just whining about the fact that she, she was censured and kicked off of stuff. Well, that's because you, yeah, a lot of the stuff that you posted on Twitter got you in trouble. Exactly. Um, yeah, and they want to ceremoniously unimpeach Trump because they can't actually unimpeach Trump. That's not in that's not in the Constitution. So, mm. yeah, mm. I, just, I just look at this and go, when are they going to do something for the American people? They ran on fixing the economy. They ran on the border. They ran on all at lowering gas prices. They Be ran on lowering crime. They ran on. They haven't done crap. Nothing. <laughs> No wage growth. They haven't done that. They haven't done anything to help strengthen the economy. I'm looking all over the internet. Nothing. What about an immigration? No, you know 
with their immigration bill? They they what? wrap barbed wire around buoys and throw it. Oh in the river. That's no, their immigration that's, bill. That's, that's good. Yeah, that's their that's their. Uh, uh, oh yeah, no, we care about the children, but if they're brown little babies trying to get across a river, we don't care about them. No, 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 we don't care wow. about those babies. Yeah. Wow. I mean, when are y'all gonna wake up and see the hypocrisy on your side? When you when are you gonna wake up and see it? And I'm not saying our side is the best, and I'm not saying we're perfect, but we sure as hell are getting things done for the American people, and that is a fact. Yeah. And, you know, when we had control of the House, we passed bipartisan infrastructure bills and right. or inflation acts. And, uh, you know, we've got all kinds of things that went into play, uh, anti-lynching laws. Exactly. And, and I just sit here and go, what have y'all done? Nothing. Are you going are you going to attend the inaugural, you know, statue to Emmett and his mother? Are you going to do that? Guarantee you won't. Nope. I bet you won't be there. There's going to be two, one in Illinois and one in Mississippi. I'd love to see any Republican congressmen and senators uh, standing with our president mm. at those memorials to mm. those 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 two amazing people. Mm. Um, Tell them, Shane. Yeah, but, but now they're just going to say, no, but Biden's the racist. But I was like, okay, well, let, let's see if y'all y'all attend this because... Mm. That, yeah, that, prove, or, prove or, to us that you're not a racist by going to the Emmett Till uh, Museum. Yeah. All right, Trumpers, Trump, Trump are supporters. Just, are you just going to say that Emmett Till learned not to hit on a white woman? Is that what you're going to say? Oh, you're going to go that route with us. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh, that's right. no, because, you know, they want to whitewash all of, you know, racist history and all of that. So I'm just curious what Emmett Till, what lesson he learned. Yeah. Answer the question, MAGA. <laughs> What 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 are, what, are, what are these new white history books going to tell tell about Emmett Till? Or are they not going to talk about him at all? I'm just curious. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I would love to read it. All right, because you know, I, I I was talking to some of them yesterday, and they still are confused about what racism is. Can you believe this? These folks come up to me and they go, Zeus. Well, what is being racist? If I have to explain it to you, that's a problem. You're supposed <laughs> to be smart, right? You know more than me. Why do I gotta yeah. explain it to you? <laughs> It's crazy. It's it's so crazy to me. But yeah, I'm just I'm just like so so sorry, I've been at work all day. So Hunter Biden uh did not plead guilty today? He didn't no. take the no, he didn't okay. plead guilty. no it, listen, they no, they, they didn't want to give him the type of immunity he deserves. So they said we don't have a deal. And he pled not yeah. guilty and walked out of the courtroom. Now they're they're still thinking about how to re, you know revisit this. It has to do it has to do with the immunity. But okay. uh, for right oh. now, he pled not guilty. And I said, you know what? That's better than him pleading the fifth, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, this guy, yeah, listen, he didn't handle things right. We all, we all agree with it. The, my God, to have his pictures uh, all over on, you know, in the hearings and, yeah. you know, printed in books, you mm -hmm. know, and I, I just keep laughing about this laptop, you know, this yeah. hard drive, actually. Yeah. I just keep laughing about it, that it's going to prove all this stuff when any court of law, that's your little sham hearings will do what they're going to do, but no court of law is going to touch this. They just won't. I mean, how is that evidence? And when everybody can print off a copy of it, that's right. evidence. That's the no. evidence you're going to bring to trial. I mean, yeah. come on. I mean, somebody that works in law has to understand none of that would be admissible. Yeah. And so, it's not. It's not. They, they have no evidence yeah. on, on any of the, the crimes they're alleging. <laughs> and they still haven't explained why they are hanging out with that Chinese spy, right? The one that got yeah. indicted. Yeah. That's why I say <laughs> MAGA has no credibility. None at all. Zero. It's in the toilet. <laughs> and I, once, and you know, I, once, we, once we catch you hanging out with the Chinese spy, it's a done yeah. deal. It, it is. It's ridiculous. I mean, this is this is the best you got. Why won't you call up Love Parnas? He's the guy that Rudy Giuliani hired to go over there and do the investigation on the Bidens in Ukraine. Yeah, and and y'all know why, this. Y'all know it. Why is he not testifying? Why yeah. is he not a whistleblower? I'm just yeah. kidding. Yeah, exactly. Without these questions, people, it just doesn't make sense. And I was talking to, 
you know, our wonderful friends over there uh, yesterday and they were asking me all these questions and said, well, are you watching the hearings? Are you doing this? Y'all just don't believe the laptop. So no, we know that the hard drive exists. We know that you got copies of this stuff. Yeah. And I know that I can order my car on Marco Polo. I get all that. That's lovely and all. But in the end of the day, it's your own leaders of your party that get on national television mm -hmm. and basically say they don't have evidence. Back. And you guys are sitting here going, y'all don't want to hear it. You don't want to listen. You closed your ears. You don't, you're not, you don't want it all. That, and I, no, your own leaders are saying there's nothing here. Yeah. Nothing. That it. Uh, Comer has said it several times. Ted Cruz has said it. They're all, they've all said it. Mm -hmm. Good so evening. Why, why are you blaming us for doubting any of this is actually a real thing when your own leaders of your party are saying there's no, there's no proof here. Mm, mm. There's no proof. I am. Hello, what, Jay. what do you want us to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're mad about this, be mad at your own people. Like, Bang. Bang. <laughs> listen to my mega. Be mad at your own people. I mean, stop blaming like, the Democrats. Rudy Giuliani called up Rusty Bowers, Arizona, right? Speaker of the House, Republican Speaker of the House in Arizona. And basically said, we need you to overturn the election. And Rusty Bowers is like, well, do you have any proof? And he goes, no, we just have a bunch of theories. And, well, if Rust and did Rusty Bowers talk to Jack Smith? Uh, yeah, I think he has. Absolutely. You hear that? This mm -hmm. is what this is. Every uh, man is a supporter. Listen, man, if you want to stay out of if you want to go to jail, follow Donald Trump. <laughs> Well, okay. listen, Jay, I got to bring yep. up your friend. All righty. Love you, man. This All right. Good. Love you, too. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give the beautiful Shay a round of applause. Thank you, everybody. Hi, everybody. They have zero credibility in this kingdom. I mean, the best, listen, they just come in here and they just start rambling. I mean, goodness gracious, will the lies ever end with MAGA? What a cry of shame. Oh, my goodness. All right, uh, let's go up here. RC Dub, welcome. I haven't heard you in a while. How you doing, brother? Hey, how you doing? Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Absolutely. How you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. It's another day in the closet of truth. I'm always happy when so I you catch heard, you. You've heard how this has gone. You've been watching how this oh, yeah. has gone, right? Yep. I'm glad to catch right. you in the afternoon. I usually miss you in the morning, so I'm glad to see you here. But uh, yeah, I've been yeah. listening to this nonsense from from Trump supporters deflecting from reality as they have to do because if they admit to reality, then the game is over, right? Facts. That's why they don't want to talk to me about Trump. I love how everybody that comes to me, they're like, "Why do you want to talk about Trump?" As if he's not the front runner of the Republican Party for the presidential nomination. He Facts. shouldn't be, but yeah, he he's he shouldn't be. But here we are. We're still dealing with the same old talking points, the same old policies that they don't want to define. I love how Snuggles can't bring up a real fact on how to deal with inflation. He just likes to point at it like a problem that he's happy that is there because he well, can blame Biden. Well, you know what I was impressed with when he did that? I, I, at least I got him to read CNN, right? He's been always saying he doesn't read it, but he's reading CNN. So I said, I'm going to let him have this one, right? <laughs> Snuggles, keep up the good work. Get off of that Fox diet and that Newsmax diet and get you some CNN, all right? Well, it just, it's frustrating because they keep saying they're going to vote for somebody that doesn't tell them how they're going to fix things they claim to care about. So if you really care about inflation, all of us are dealing with it. Mm -hmm. Never mind, it's basically back to the levels that it was in April 2021. And you can't convince me Trump would have prevented those levels. You can't <laughs> convince me he had something to do with You know, you can't tell me that there's some magic policy that there was that Biden just ignored, that somebody suggested, here's how you deal with inflation. It's not mm -hmm. a magic pill. Right. And they all, they all ignore everything that we've been dealing with is not a normal economy since COVID. Even Elon Musk has said that, you know, and the thing about struggles is he likes to say something about Trump deserving credit for inheriting a good economy. But if Obama's numbers were better, then what did Trump really do? Trump, Trump, the only thing he did was commit crimes and take credit. All yep. right. That's all he did. Nothing brilliant came out of the mind of Donald Trump. Even the crimes of Donald Trump were childish. 
rookie. He's not even a good criminal. Yeah, we're right? lucky he's dumb. Yeah, I've never seen someone commit crimes and then brag all over the internet that they committed the crimes <laughs> and then attack the prosecutor. I mean, if that doesn't say lock me up, what does? <laughs> well, it's just that isn't that the great irony of all of this is he ran his 2016 campaign on one of his major promises was locking up Hillary for what he has turned around and done. Swerving, I see. And worse. He's actually admitted to doing worse than he accused her of. Yeah. I yeah. mean, they were like, well, she might have been negligent and that disqualifies her. He took them, lied about them had his lawyers pretend they'd given them back as he moved the boxes from Bedminster to Mar-a-Lago. Right. And you can't even get them to acknowledge that, well, we've got it on audio and on video and in his own words, his own lawyers, his own people around him keep saying that's what it has happened. And, you know, how many people have to go down? Like you said earlier, how many people need to go to prison for Trump? How many? Any MAGA, any MAGA supporters out there willing to go to prison for Trump, please raise your hands. <laughs> yeah, he told the Proud Boys to stand back and stand by. Now they're standing up in prison. So, <laughs> oh, that's one. nasty. They stand up in prison. Oh, that is nasty. <laughs> well, I, I, would I, never, I would never stand in prison for Donald Trump. But I'm waiting for some. Oh. Someone put their hands up. Oh, you you would you would you would do some hard time for Trump. <laughs> I can't even believe the kind of the lack of self respect you'd have to have to still be supporting Trump at this point. It's like he lies to you. He doesn't respect you. He doesn't care if you die for him during a pandemic. That's why he had you sign waivers to go to those ego stroking rallies. It's all about him. He just mm -hmm. wants the attention and the money. Oh, mm. and now the power to stay out of prison again. <laughs> oh, my God. So you're saying Donald Trump doesn't care about, uh, you know, inflation and these job numbers or anything like that? Wow. He just cares. About Has he mentioned how we would deal with inflation as Americans? Like, how he, does he have an idea that he's told us that I missed somewhere? I keep hearing him complain about the same old things and lie about the election. Hmm. That's sad. That's quite sad, you know, because people keep telling me, they go to me and they go, Zeus, name one policy that Trump did that hurts people, right? And I had to go, just name one policy. Just name one, right? Yeah, just name one policy. One. He, I, I never heard of a major proposal going through Congress that Trump was the one behind. He did nothing with immigration. He did nothing with climate change. He did nothing but get into it with China with the little tariffs he put on them. And that made it worse for Americans. Yeah, all, all of his foreign policy that didn't placate to Putin actually endangered us when you look at Iran and how he handled North Korea. Yeah. And then he's friends with Saudi Arabia and you're wondering, well, where's all that billions coming from and why? But you don't want to investigate that. You got to look at Hunter Biden, who isn't in the White House. And by the way, Joe Biden didn't put Hunter in the in the uh, have to over security professionals to give him security clearance like Trump did with his brats. Woo! Tell him, RC. Tell him. So I just I love the selective outrage from Trump supporters. But um, anyway, I'm gonna get going. I got a meeting soon, but I appreciate you and uh, keep doing what you do, man. All right, you too, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give RC Dubs a uh, a round of applause. <laughs> lies detected i mean you know this is a testament to how great of a job we are all doing out here getting the truth out we have a zero tolerance for lies and misinformations here ladies and gentlemen uh maga listen up if this live is making you uncomfortable because it's so truthful and so honest now is your chance to exit stage left you don't have to take my word for it listen to your leader if you're not happy here then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Get out of here. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Nothing, irrita nothing irritates me more. Then when I go back to that day on January 6th, when I see 
that these these so-called patriots, these so-called Americans, they gassed up their Chevy trucks, their Ford trucks, their Dodge trucks, filled it up with gasoline. They they took flights and they flew, drove, walked to the Capitol and attacked our country on national television. Nothing grinds my gears more than that. And these same hypocrites have the audacity to try to say President Biden is a criminal? Shame on you. to me about what's going on. The inflation could be 10%. I really don't care. You have no credibility with me. You attacked our nation. You attacked our capital. That's the, the, the capital of the United States. You attacked it with those American boots. I am a, zero tolerance. <laughs> You brought that confet that disgusting Confederate flag in the Capitol, and you had the audacity to brand it as a peaceful protest or a tourist visit? Absolutely not. I know what a terrorist act looks like, and that's what that was. And it was led by your leader, Donald J. Trump. Listen, MAGA, if you don't want to live in this country, do me a huge solid. Do me a huge favor. You go ahead and buy you a first class trip to China with Vladimir Putin, okay? You get on over there and straighten up with Vladimir Putin, all right? Or go have you some chocolate cake with President Xi. Or you can defect to North Korea for all I care, but, as a, but don't you dare in your life take another American thing and use it to attack our capital. Do we have that understood? All right, listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you can go to Russia, China, North Korea, wherever you want, but don't you dare attack our United States Capitol ever again. And don't ha don't say you were tricked. Don't use that. You you we were telling you the whole time the truth. You weren't tricked. You wanted to be a criminal for Donald Trump. All right. All right, let's keep it going, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, uh, you know, I, sometimes you just get a little fired up and you gotta say the truth. Uh, all right, Billy, greetings, brother Billy. How are you? I'm good. How you been? Uh, I'm all right. Just another day in the closet of truth. How about you? Oh, same, same. Okay. Um, I was wanting to see if you did you see that interview with Midas Touch that Miles Taylor did? Uh, no. When did it drop? Uh, a couple of days ago, it ain't been very long. Oh, uh, what what was the topic? Uh, just talking about his book. He, mm. I know he worked on the Trump administration. That I think he went to the homeland. Yeah, uh, for for a bit. But he was one of the things he talked about was how they had to do things in order to make Trump understand. Uh -huh. He said they had this fifty-page classified document about something uh, about the pullout of Afghanistan, right? Right. They said, like he said, Trump ain't going to read that because he can't read. He said they had to put it in a one page bullet point statement. He had to word it like how to leave Afghanistan to make America first look like winners. Wow. They're like one of the bullet points was we can't leave too fast or the terrorists will think we are losers. Wow. You got to talk to him like that. They, had to, they had to, they had to, they had to talk to him like he talks. So he understood what the heck they was talking about. Wow. That's sad. Yeah. So that's sad. And this is and, who the people, this is who they want back in the white house. That's worse than a kindergartner. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's unreal. And, um, I was going, I had some, some of mine I've done for him. <laughs> uh, uh, but that was a big thing. It was a good interview. Uh, yeah. Uh, and but then I was when he was talking about what have they done, like they all ran on in 2022, how they all ran on. We're going to cut inflation. We're going to cut crime. We're going to stop the border and have yet to bring one bill. Right. That's what the question is. 
Name one thing that the Republican Party has done to address these issues. Yeah. They, Nothing. They keep, they keep going after Hunter Biden, which if he done something guilty or uh, something wrong, put him in jail. We don't care. Yeah. But like, but, and then they try to get whatever they're talking about, Joe Biden. But like you said, uh, the guy, their main whistleblower is, is now on the run from the FBI for be, for being a Chinese spy and an yeah. ar arms dealer. Right. Right. So he, they he, they he, go all he, the way to China to get some dirt, right? Yep. And even before that, it was like, well, we talked to him. Oh, well, nobody's talked to him in three years. Mm. Uh, well, he might be dead. Uh, it just kept rolling and rolling and rolling. And then come to find out he's on the run from the FBI. <laughs> ah, he's a criminal the whole time. You're building your case on the words of a criminal. Think about that, folks. Think about it. I mean, it, so, but I, you know, I know we're all the same. If Bi if Joe Biden actually done something wrong, lock him up too. Lock him up, please. We, we, please. we ain't in. We're not in the cult of personality. No, no. Do you do you ride around painting painting your truck, uh, uh, Biden twenty twenty four? Do you do that kind of stuff? God no. No. I no. don't own the first name with Biden's name on it. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's these folks that are obsessed with Donald Trump that I tell you, they got that MAGA demon. It's a MAGA demon, wouldn't you say? I would agree. They, would they, agree. Get it. they call themselves conservatives. Have you ever heard them call themselves conservative Christians? Have you ever heard that? Oh, yeah. Conservative Christians or the Christian evangelicals or Christian nationalists. and Yeah, every yeah, other. yeah, yeah. They use, they use the Lord's name. And, and if Jesus walked up to them right now, they would they would cast him aside one because he ain't white and two they'd call him a liberal oh Woo! wow i agree i agree they would do jesus dirty if they had the chance to do it they would you better believe it mm -hmm. and they call themselves this is why i say no one believes them they could complain about anything biden is doing and at the end of the day, because of where their credibility is with me, it just carries no weight. Exactly yeah. right. All right. Like like when Snuggles was up, he was when he was talking about uh, Biden this, Biden that, and Trump did all this better. He, when he said that uh, our taxes went up because of Biden, Biden has yet to lay a tax plan out. We're yeah. still we're still on the 2017 Jobs and Tax Act. <laughs> Listen and, to what he's saying. In other words, that's Trump. And and what that said, starting in twenty twenty January of twenty twenty one, if you made seventy five thousand dollars or less, your taxes started going up every two years till twenty twenty seven to pay <laughs> for the tax cut for the one percent. Wow. Wow. And how many of the how many MAGA supporters are in the one percent, if you were to take a guess? Oh God. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't know that I could give you a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd say that the average uh, MAGA person isn't in the 1%. Oh, no, no, the average MAGA person ain't in the 1%. No, I'm sorry, I misunderstood what you was asking me. 0 0.01 poker dad, thank you. Yeah, so, 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 in other words, MAGA, you're not even benefiting from this that Trump did. What a shame. Uh, but what you was talking about, um, zero, zero, all zeros. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious what would when you said the things that happened like inflation and everything would have happened had trump come in office yes oh. I, we would have i still think we'd still be in a covid mess yeah i still say we'd be on lockdown for the most part because if trump was still in the white house absolutely. if trump was still, yeah I, we'd yeah. still be in big trouble yeah he has he has no experience leading at that level, and even with the four years he had, he failed miserably. He didn't exactly. do the job at all. He spent all day on social media, didn't he? Yeah, or watching yeah. TV. Yeah, what kind of person do you want? What kind of person does that? You're supposed to be at work, and you're on social media all day, letting everyone know you're on social media at that. Yep, right? exactly right. Yeah. This is why I say there's not going to be a Trump 2024 unless they're talking about 20 to 24 years in prison. <laughs> yeah. Yep, exactly right. Well, I'm going to jump down, let somebody else up, but thank you for letting me in, my friend. All right. No problem, Brother Billy. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Brother Billy a round of applause. <laughs> All right.
right, all right, all right. We got a few more minutes left, and then I gotta wrap up this ex this episode of the Closet of Truth. All right, uh, Silver Sippy, greetings. How are you? Greetings. Great conversation. Uh, hey, uh, I wanted to say about Miles Taylor. Huh? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Right. But well, I listen I to you all the time. I gotta ask you those questions. Yeah. All right. Okay, go ahead. Opinion, in your opinion, was the 2020 election uh, stolen by President Biden? No. Next question. Who would you say is responsible for the attack on the Capitol on January 6th? Donald J. Trump. Hey! <laughs> Last question is going to come at you like a, 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 a curveball, but I got to ask it anyway. Uh, in your opinion, is President Biden guilty of any crimes? No, sir. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right, welcome to the kingdom. All right, thank you. All right, well, what do you got for us? Listen. <laughs> I wanted to add to the fabulous Miles Taylor, who, let's be clear, was a Republican. He worked in the Trump administration as a Republican. He's not a Democrat. He wrote anonymous. So he tried to send out a warning to let us know how deeply uh, defective uh, dump was. And I, I can't, sorry, I can't call him president. And no, I really I can't stand I I'm going to call him. Yeah. yeah. So, but he, and then he, he left. So he left and he just wanted to get out of politics. He said, just, it's kind of like having a career in sales and you get into sales and everybody's just, um, uh, they have no integrity and they're unethical and yeah. it's, you know, you're working for a bunch of assholes and you just, yeah. I'm oh, never going to be clean, sales man. again. I am so sorry. I forget I the rules. I should have told you that. I should have told yes, you that. Thank you. Thank you. But so he left and wanted to get out of politics. But what he said was he got tired of hearing all of the best, the best that Donald Trump brought on. You know, he hired only the best. And those people then left and mm -hmm. wrote books to, to say, look how great I am. I saved America from Donald J. Trump. So he got a little put out and he decided to write a book about the dangers, the right. dangers of a 2024 Donald J. Trump wow. presidency. So that book is about and everyone should read it and if you're not familiar with project 25 or 2025 from the heritage foundation and how the, they're putting 22 million dollars towards creating an autocracy in this country it doesn't matter if trump gets in or desantis gets in wow. they want they want to change the um my mind has gone blank the the structure that we have today they, with they this wanna, they want to install a, a dictator in the country yes they do yes they, they do. do get rid of the supreme court get rid of congress and really just have us all live under an authoritarian dictatorship wow. and they put it out you can go to heritagefoundation.com you know yeah. it's right there they're not even hiding it anymore and i can remember clearly in 2000 uh, my husband and i are nonpartisan. we are both former republicans but left we loved obama and so oh, we're not former republicans but you left <laughs> We left to, yeah, after George uh, W, after W. Oh, and okay. we really believed in Obama. So we went Democrat because we wanted to help him with his um, campaign. Okay. And then um, we moved back to nonpartisan. We live in a rural area and it's just, you can see every, how everybody's registered and it's easier for us out here just to have it say nonpartisan. Yeah. Unfortunately in our state, that means that we can't uh, vote in the primaries. So mm. we may go and be, you know, before the deadline, go back to Democrats so we can vote for Biden. That's a so good choice. That's a good it's tricky. choice. Yeah, so my husband grew up in a little town in um, Idaho. It was all white. What town and was that, if you don't mind? It was called Soda Springs, and oh, it's all white and oh, a bunch right. of Mormons. And oh. he wasn't Mormon, but you were ostracized if you weren't Mormon, but very conservative. They hunted, mm. I mean, uh, just did all those things, had guns, so on and so forth. But he then moved to Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, wow. And that is where, when you move to a big city, you grow up. I could tell you a really personal story, but I won't, about what opened his eyes to all the horrible things that he was taught living in that town. So that that song, Small Town, pisses me off. I have to be Thank honest. You. Yeah, we don't no. like it, do we? 
No. Uh, listen, we have, my husband and I, it's, it's literally been like 114 degrees here. And we saw a, a black gentleman walking down the street. And my husband and I were like, Jesus Christ, is he lost? I live in a town of 6,500. 91 percent white and um we were like very near home and i said we need to turn around you know uh, and there is a fear you know if you're socially liberal there is a fear we own guns and that's why we kind of stay nonpartisan. but we do want gun reform so we're like right. we're sensible so we turn around and we go get him out of the sheer concern for his safety wow. the He's a he's a great guy. He's a former boxer. His dad was a famous, like a well-known boxer. Wow. But he and his sister and they moved here. They're running a house. We drove him where he needed to go. And our first thought was, Jesus Christ, how is he going to get home? Because wow. we don't have Uber out here. Wow. You know? So uh, that song just pisses me off. <laughs> and I sell into law enforcement and the whole thing that we don't cuss in their face in a small town. We don't hit the, you know, punch them in a small That's town. A lie. They do that in small towns. That is they? a lie. I sell into law enforcement. I know we, and we just hired on an amazing, transparent uh, sheriff here who is very transparent. And he says exactly what's going on. They used to call this felony flats. So don't mm -hmm. tell me it's growing. So our little 6,500 is growing. We might be 8,000 in two years. Who knows? Hey. But um, people. Hey, tell them. Yeah. Tell them. Tell these folks how that song was out here trying to make it look like oh. that oh. folks in a small town don't disrespect oh law this enforcement. But we oh are all aware that yeah. you know, I've seen them. I've seen them on cops. I've seen them on YouTube videos. Yes. <laughs> Folks get sloppy drunk, and they do some of the most nastiest, evil things to law enforcement in those small towns. Don't believe the hype, folks. Let me, let me tell you, fact, our little town here in Nevada didn't even have a manned police department because they didn't want to deal with the, um, the lowest common denominator of society that lives out here. They used to also call it Tweaker Springs. So, oh. so... Microsoft's built here, Tesla, Google. So people are moving in all over to take jobs. So it's growing and the people with different value systems are moving in. But the first okay. thing the sheriff did was man that station down there. And so that he could start getting rid of these people that think that they can get away with anything in a small town. And that includes harming people of color. So I, I don't, you know, some girl said to me, you're doing, you're doing this, all this Jason Aldean stuff on your page because you're just trying to get clout. First of all, I'm 56 years old. I don't even know what the hell that means. I'm not trying to get clout. I live here. I'm telling you the truth. Facts, no lies detected. Yes. Thank you. Now listen, uh, Silver, I got to bring up our next okay. and final guest. All right. I love but you. All right. It was a pleasure hearing from you. Uh, this is amazing. And again, I would love for you to keep updating us about what's going on in those small towns for real. All right. You, you got it. And I will fill up my piggy bank and give you lots of gifts next time. If you're going to go right now, I can't help you today, but I no, will be back tomorrow. Don't worry about all of that. Okay. Just come okay. back and keep bringing the truth. That's what's more important. The truth. We got to get the truth out there. All right. My husband and I stand with the truth and we love all of you and we will go to the ends of earth to protect anyone in our community that is not white <laughs> so i appreciate so. that that's honesty and integrity at its finest all right yep love you all right love you. Yep. <laughs> a round of applause <laughs> not that hard to get in the box ladies and gentlemen and tell the truth okay we tell the truth and we shame the devil over here all right we got two heavy hitters coming up next ladies and gentlemen uh first is poker dad greetings poker dad what do you got how are you doing good afternoon good I, afternoon I, I really think that the correct answer now to when you you know when you have your your newcomers and you ask the question who's responsible mm -hmm. it should be now the mega deep <laughs> Because the that, that, that will really be the umbrella to cover everybody because we all know it's everybody from from Rudy Pooh to you know Donald J to the the, the idiots that had no self control or accountability storming right. the hill. I mean, we'll just call it the MAGA demon going forward. The MAGA demon, yes. And and, and and we can agree that Trump has the MAGA demon, right? 
Uh, he, yes, he, he needs an exorcism. That's what he needs. <laughs> I agree. I completely agree. All right. That, that being said, uh, I, I just want to address a little bit about some of the... Um, I, don't you think at this point we could call Donald Trump mentally incapable of doing anything he's doing right now? Like, don't you think we could literally put him in a straight jacket at this point? Absolutely. I, I, I do. I do think he's probably going to try to use that as a defense, too. I mean, the I, indictments are higher than his golf score right now. <laughs> <laughs> And I have to say this, like, I, you know, I, 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 I look for news every day to try to feel good as a Republican. Mm-hmm. And, and, it, and it's just, it's sad. It's depressing. That everything that we're doing has to do either with fighting against the Democrats on whatever it is they're working on right. or more social reform to, to the point of where it's just disgusting. Mm. There's no economic work being done right now. None. Wow, and that's profane coming from you. We have the House, we have the Senate, and we're doing zero economic work. What a shame. It's because they're hung up on, you know, saving Donald Trump and and getting the Bidens, right? Don't you think they're spending a lot of time on that? Okay, you got Hunter. Are you happy? Maga, are are you happy? You got Hunter. Are they happy they got Hunter? Congratulations. (laughs) Congratulations. <laughs> I mean, good lord. Like it's 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 literally frustrating to to really go through article after article and seeing what's being worked on. It's literally nothing being done of any substance. Wow. Oh, they say next step uh Biden. I mean President Biden. No, I mean I, I am all for getting a better representative in the presidential office. Right. I'm not even going to lie about that. You right. know that. Yeah. But holy cow, can we can we work on something that's actually going to be productive? Mm. I mm. feel I feel like the train is off the tracks and just rolling wherever it wants to go. Mm. Wow. Wow. And I you know and I, I appreciate everyone up uh, down there t- you know in, in the comments talking about why why does Poker Dad want to come up again and act like he's Republican? Fact of the matter is, is I care. I care about what I care about. Tell right? Me. Each of you that want to think otherwise can kick rocks. If you don't like me, you know what you can do. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. Yeah. I don't yeah. agree with the Democratic Party and the whole economic plan. I, it is what it is. Get them. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to come over here and, and, and I, I don't want to curse. Yo, keep it clean, like, Poker Dad. Keep it clean. Yeah. All right, but they, they, that that Maga Demon is what's doing this, right? It's, it's a, we gotta cast it out. And, and I and I have to actually say, like, you know, a good point was just down in the chat. Also, can we name the first the, or the last real Republican that was a representative for us? Mm. Marjorie really, really only McCain. McCain. Oh, McCain. All right. See, I didn't know. And Donald Trump had nothing but negative things to say about him. Wow! Boo! What would the Republican Party do if the, if we had John McCain right now? How happy would we be? Mm. Well, I'm sure you would be a lot happier with John McCain compared to the, the person that is still running the Republican Party from a you know Fort Mar-a-Lago, you know the new prison that they're going to be building there. Yeah, I, yeah. I was thinking more like uh, he was going to be purchasing Rikers Island, calling it Trump Island. <laughs> <laughs> they call they said they call McCain a rhino poker dad. What do you gotta say to these these Magadonians who keep thinking You're calling that- McCain a rhino? Mm-hmm. He's they- been a Republican since day one? And you're gonna call McCain a rhino? Yeah, they called him a rhino. Oh, I forgot. These are the people that, that just switched over to the Republican Party after Obama got elected. <laughs> and you're gonna call him a, a rhino. Ooh. Please. You hear what you hear what Poker Dad said? He's a real certified Republican, MAGA. Cut it out. You have no credibility with us. Zero. Anyways. I won't come up here and I won't take up too much of any money. I know you want to get out of here, but uh I, I'm just I'm super frustrated. And yeah. 
And uh, I, I know it just comes down to, you know, finding, finding the right person that's going to be the leader, but it's not happening. Mm, not not until we, we cast out this MAGA demon, all right? And that's what this is really turning into, all right? If, if for some reason, it got a stronghold on uh, these folks. It really does. Yeah, I, I like that comment down there, Poker Dad is in the closet. You're right, I'm in the closet of truth, giving the honesty. Yeah. Maybe you should try that, MAGA. Maybe you should try it. It's and not McCain, that hard to come in here and tell the truth. It isn't. It really isn't. They think it's a trick, and it's the most funniest thing ever. But all right, brothers. All right. Peace. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Poker Dad a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard to get in the box and tell the truth. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna end it with Brother Swervin, because I gotta run. Uh, but Swervin, you got the last word, my brother. How are you doing? Oh, it's been a it's, it's been a rough day here in the calls of the solid truth. Talk to me, talk to me. But uh, Tell, what do you mean it's been rough? There's been a lot going on, you know. Well, no, for me, for me personally, it's just oh, been for you. Uh, just yeah, just been a just been a hard having a hard day. That's all. But I'm getting by though. I'm getting by. Okay. You know, we, we, we we get up, we stand up, we keep pushing forward, and that's all we can do. Absolutely. And that's what I'm gonna keep Thank doing. You. So yeah. I'm I'm just watching some of these comments go by, mm -hmm. you know, about liberals are done, Trump's a winner, uh, Trump 2024. Uh, he, bad views is in here asking why is Poker Dad pretending to be a Republican? I would ask, why are you all pretending to be human beings? Because you obviously don't care about anyone but yourself. It's your own selfishness coming out. Mm. Uh, it's your own privilege coming out. Mm. And when anybody says anything against you, then they're all of a sudden a rhino. Mm. And let's not forget, be, because this is what bothers me the most, Zeus. They, they went all back through time and history. They got into Doctor Who TARDIS, went into the Wayback Machine, and they pulled up all the history they could on Joe Biden. They know what he said. But what they don't know, and I guarantee you somebody's going to say that's a lie, Donald Trump used to run, he ran several times for the presidency as a Democrat. What? But wouldn't that make him the original rhino? Donald Trump, out of his own mouth, said the economy runs better under Democrats. Hmm. Donald Trump said, I'm going to run as a Republican because they'll believe anything you tell them. So wouldn't it make him the original rhino? Yeah. It, it, I mean, it, it just, they, but they, they know back in 1975, Joe Biden had eggs Benedict for breakfast, but they don't know anything about Donald Trump. Ain't that funny. And there it is. There it is. There's the comment. What did it say? What did the comment say? <laughs> Go he, ahead, Swervin. <laughs> never ran. He never ran before. Lie, lie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but you won't even go look that up. You won't even go look that up. And that's the problem with you all. And the conspiracy theories that they come out with. Now, I don't know if you've heard the latest conspiracy theory. To what? Oh, there's another one? Oh, yeah, and this just started. You heard what happened to uh, Mitch McConnell, right? What? Oh, I saw. Yeah, he froze. Yeah, he he froze up. So the the conspiracy theory going around now is, well, we all knew he was a rhino robot. So that was bound to happen. He was going to short circuit sooner or later. Oh! Or the, Wow. Are you serious? The mind control. Joe Biden has mind control over him. That's why the Senate ain't doing anything about sex trafficking or right. trick people or, uh, you know, drag queens. Right. They're already coming up with the conspiracy theories. Now, when I saw what happened to Mitch McConnell, you know what I said? What's that? I said, man, that's that's pretty tough. I hope the brother OK. Yeah. I hope he, whatever's going on with him, I hope they find it out quickly. And, uh, you know, hopefully he can get back to work. Yeah. No, they're sitting there, well, he deserves it. Where's wow. Your, where's your humanity? You, what did Mitch McConnell do to the MAGA? What, why are they mad at Mitch? Oh, I have no idea. I have what? no idea. But, you know, according to Donald Trump, that's China loving Mitch because his wife is Asian. Oh, wow. Elaine, to them, that's all his. Wow. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing but a traitor because he's got an Asian wife. 
It amazes wow. me. There's, there's no humanity with these people. There's I'm no guess. credibility with these people. You ask them a question, they'll never give you an answer. I was listening to that live you were in earlier today, and I was listening to the live you were in yesterday. Oh. And I was even invited to come up and speak, and I was like, no, nah, I'm just listening. Yeah. But I'm, I, I can't get in there and speak with people who are completely disconnected from reality. They, they, they are. Swore, they're, they're very disconnected from reality. They, they swore that the James Comer report was going to be these bombastic, boomtastic, <laughs> bombshell level <laughs> indictments. And at best, all he could come up with was, well, um, maybe the FBI shouldn't have started that investigation. Oh, really? Yeah. And you know what's funny? They want to go back to the Steele dossier. Oh, the Steele dossier. It wasn't oh even vetted. Oh Ask the Republicans God. about the Steele dossier because they're the ones who commissioned it first. And, and go ask the Republicans who commissioned the Steele dossier, and they'll tell you. Mm. And then Hillary Clinton, well, not Hillary Clinton personally, but the DNC took it over. The DNC continued to finance. Uh, and that's why Hillary Clinton. This and is the, true. That's why. Don't bet your lions were, I'm sorry, but I'm no, no lies have been detected. We've only had one liar in the box today, and that's Snuggles. And that, that's, of course, they're going to say I'm lying. <laughs> of course they're going to say I'm lying because they won't go and look anything up. Mm -hmm. They won't go and look at anything up. And right. in talking and, and in talking about how the RNC commissioned the Steele dossier first, we can then go and talk about how the DNC, they took it over and they financed it, and then they got in trouble for it. Mm. See, see how that worked? I call out yeah. both parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always, you know, it's like they're turning on themselves, right? Yeah. And they don't get it. They don't get it. It's them ruining it for themselves. It has nothing to do with the people they're accusing. Like here's here's Mills Pepperson. He says swerving is a lying POS. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wow. Okay. Me and me and my eighty thousand followers say otherwise, Mills. Yeah, and, and again, it's so funny that they can see that and call you uh, call you such a thing, but when it comes to Donald Trump, they can't come up with anything. If that if that's what you are, if that's what I am, what is Trump? Oh my goodness! I mean, just like the lowest demon of hell. Yeah. I guess. he had the Antichrist, right? He, he's Trump got to be. Lying. I'm not lying. This is all truth. Believe me, if I and 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 Zeus, you've heard me say this hundreds of thousands of times. Don't believe a word I tell you. Go look it up for yourself. Then you might actually learn something. And you yeah. might actually decide to learn something past your third grade education. <laughs> that's what you're you're gonna, anyway. you gotta get past the third grade education. That's where most of you read at a level, that's your reading level anyway. Okay. And I don't mean to insult anybody, but I'm gonna tell you something. If the shoe fits, you lace it up and you wear it proudly. Hmm. Proudly. Go and learn something before you jump into somebody's life. Or here's a better thought. Those of you with the street cred, Go start your own lie. Oh. And then Zeus and I can come into there oh. and we can we can give you the same amount of truth that we give you in here. Yeah, and you got to listen to us when we come, all right? You and, won't do that either. Yeah, they, they don't listen when we go into their lives. Isn't that weird? No, it's, it's insane to me. <laughs> it's, in, it's insane to me. But uh, like I said, and, and you know what? This again is me calling out both parties. Mm -hmm. What happened to Mitch McConnell today is going to reverberate through the halls of Congress for the next few weeks, few months. Hey, is Mitch okay? Here's his update on his health condition. You know what? They should have never trotted him out in front of that camera. And I would say the same exact thing about Diane Feinstein. Wow. She should have never been trotted out in front of that camera after being gone for six or seven months and then sat there and said, well, I've been here the whole time. Lady, no, you haven't. No, no, you haven't. So we can already, yeah, we can already see a mental disconnect there as well. Yeah. So this this whole notion that we don't call out each other, I'll call out mine just like I'll call out theirs, but they won't equal. call out anybody but ours. Yeah, equal. We're equally like listen. We spread the truth no matter where. It's the same same style, same style of truth. Now, Zeus, let me leave you with this, brother, because I know you want to get out of here. Doing I, was, I was in a live last night and a gentleman came up and he's, he said, what would be your, what would be like your step up moment advertisement for Joe Biden? What would be your step up moment of advertisement for Donald Trump? 
I said, oh, I can I can give you that answer, but just using one person. I could take any Republican, put any Republican in front of a TV camera, and I could say, hey, my name is Steve Williams, and I'm a Republican running for president. Right. And this is this is our to move America forward. Right. And just let the camera go blank. And then mm. let it go blank for a few seconds and then go, I'm Joe Biden and I approve this message. Because you know that they, <laughs> they have they, can't, they, they wouldn't believe you. They ain't putting nothing on. They have mm. no plan. They have no policy of anything. And if you look at some of the constitutional policies for their states that they're trying to, you know, put into their own state constitutions, right. it doesn't include everybody. As it long doesn't. as as long as you're a YT person. You're included. Right. Anybody right. else? Nope. You got to take a back seat. And that's that's just ridiculous. So that's how easy it is to make any any one of us could make that ad against the Republicans right now. <laughs> and we should. Now that I think about it, I might do it, brother Swerving. <laughs> Good idea, right? We should. We yeah. should. And let me remind everyone real Tell quick. Tell Swerving. Sleepy Joe. I love how y'all call Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe. This uh -oh. old, gaudy dementia patient told the stable genius on national television to shut his mouth. Then he took his job. Then he started passing monumental legislation while at the same time running a criminal mastermind organization between China, Ukraine, and the United States. But he's sleepy, right? <laughs> I call him Sleepy Joe because I sleep good at night. And Lord help us if this man ever wake up. The Republican Party is going to rue the day that they ever tried to tussle with Joe Biden. Woo! So there you go. Zeus, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump down, brother. Wow. Great being is... back in the closet of the truth. Yes, I hope you're feeling better, my brother, all right? I hope I hope getting that truth out made you feel a little bit better, all right? I'm, I'm trying, man. It, it, it helps, believe yeah, me. Yeah, it does, <laughs> right? It does something to get that truth out. It does a lot over here. Plant Cleansing the soul. Yeah. Just for the soul. Yeah. 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 I completely agree. So, Thank you again, my brother. And I hope to see you soon. All right. I don't know if you'll always. be in tomorrow, but uh, I look forward and, you know, tell the, tell the missus I, was, I said hello. All right. I was in this morning. I was listening to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I, I, every morning I'm listening to you, man. Whether you see me or not, I'm always there, brother. Okay. All right. It feels, I, I knew I felt something, you know, I'm like, that feels like brother swerving got my back again. You know what I'm saying? Always, always, okay. always. So you enjoy, uh, you enjoy your day in the rest in the kingdom. And, uh, you have a good one, my friend. And always, as always, please be safe and have fun while you're doing it. Will do, and you as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Brother Swerving a round of applause. <laughs> that concludes, that concludes uh, today's Closet of Truth episode. I'll be back tomorrow, 6.30 a.m. Pacific time, bringing more truth than MAGA can handle. And it'll be the same Z-rated programming, all right? MAGA, you've lost all credibility, so you need to sit your special behind down and listen to this special broadcast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take care and enjoy Zeus 360. Thank you for the gift. It's Zeus 360. Have yeah. a great rest of your day. How did we get here? How did we get here? How did we get here, baby? All right, thank you for the gift. I appreciate it.
stay until I die. I'm tired of all these excuses, but honestly, just mute this. My time is wasted, the thoughts of weakness and abuse. Well, Jack Smith is coming. I know this world was real. You reach your hopes and dreams and act the inner deal. The message that I'm giving you will make the world belong to you. Ain't no shackles or chains that can take it away from you. Don't be afraid to face the burden of today. And believe in yourself and every trial will go away. It's a hell with the pain is getting all out of sight. ago i wouldn't have said it i was actually very kind to him i was very kind to him but now we can't be kind anymore because the gloves are off the jar has been opened 